things from the past that Gen Z will never understand. Advancements in technology have made our lives a lot more convenient. This newfound ease, however, may not fully be appreciated by Gen Z. They simply haven't had to face the same pains in adulthood as earlier generations. Ready to feel nostalgic? Watch to remember life before music streaming, online shopping, and movies on demand. Losing connection. Without Facebook and other social media platforms, it was normal for people to lose touch with old friends and family members. Phone booth. If you were away from home and needed to make a phone call, you would have to locate one of these. And of course, you had to always carry coins with you, just in case. No camera, no photos. To capture photographs, a camera was needed. Cell phones didn't yet have camera features, so forgetting the camera at home meant no photos of your holiday or events. No caller ID. You didn't know who was calling until you picked up the phone, so you couldn't really ignore or reject a call. Floppy disks. A 3.5-inch floppy disk offered an impressive storage capacity of 1.44 megabytes. For a gigabyte of storage, you'd need 711 of these disks. May I talk to X? To start a conversation with someone, you had to call their home, talk to the person who answered the call, and ask to have a conversation with the person you wanted to speak to. Weird, right? One PC. The term personal computer was slightly misleading in the past as most households had only one computer for the entire family to share. Cassette malfunction. When the tape became detached from a cassette, a frequent occurrence, the solution was to use a pencil or pen to put it back into place. They were also depended on to rewind the tapes. Opening hours. In the past, online shopping was non-existent. If you wanted to make a purchase, you had to wait for the specific store to open. Song recording. If you were a fan of a song but didn't want to buy the single or album, there was only one way to get it. You had to patiently wait for it to be broadcast on the radio, then hit record as fast as you could to copy it onto a cassette tape. Movie rental. If you wanted to watch a film in the comfort of your own home without buying it, you could borrow it from a video rental store. You also had to rewind the tapes prior to returning them. Birthdays. Without the help of Facebook reminders or smartphone notes, forgetting a birthday was all too easy. To counteract this, you could mark it on a calendar. Scratches. A CD with scratches was a sad situation. It was fortunate if only a few songs were affected, but just a couple of scratches could make the entire CD useless. VHS Troubles Purchasing secondhand VHS tapes had its risks. If part of the tape was damaged, an entire scene that you were excited to see might be unwatchable. Business Directory If you needed the services of a plumber or electrician, you had to browse through the Yellow Pages directory. Broadcast Before digital radio, listening options were limited to available AM slash FM stations. Typing error. Using a typewriter required skill, and rectifying errors wasn't simple. The absence of a delete button added to the difficulty. Television networks. In many countries, access to between only one and three channels of television was the norm. Waiting for photos. Before digital photography, developing photos meant waiting. Plus, you had no idea what the quality of the photos would be until after prints arrived. Portable music players. The Walkman transformed how we listened to our favorite music. Later, the portable audio player market saw the introduction of the Discman. However, it wasn't the most pocket-friendly item. My size isn't available. Ordering a specific size online is a breeze. In the past, in-store was the only option, and it could boil down to luck. Employees might inquire with other stores for you, but without computerized inventory systems, the process could entail several phone calls and weeks of waiting. If you found this video enjoyable, kindly show your support by giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing for future content.